All righty. Are we recording? We are recording. Uh, let's talk about compound time signatures. We're going to look at a chart like we did with simple time and uh, talk about the beat notes, division of the beat, and how we come up with the correct numbers for a compound time signature. Uh, first, we're looking at the book here, and um, they give a really confusing <laughs> explanation for dotted notes. Let's just let's just summarize this and say that the beat note in compound time will always be shown as a dotted note, and the reason for that is because a dotted note can represent and does represent three of the next smaller note values. Now the fundamental, we talked about this in class the other day, but the fundamental difference between compound and duple time is that compound allows you to have three notes in the beat, or we what we might call a triplet subdivision or a three note subdivision of the beat. Sometimes music feels like that. If I go ra da da dee da 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 boom chuck a chuck a boom chuck chuck boom chuck chuck boom duck duck ra bum bum ba da da rum bum bum ba. Well, to me, it feels like I'm singing six notes before a measure is over. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so we need a way to represent that. And those beats, one is a bum da da dee da da dee da da. Those beats have three notes in them. So we need a way to show a single beat note, and the dotted note does that for us. They give us some examples of compound time signatures. Here's six eight. That's what I was just singing and playing around with. Notice that the beat note is a dotted quarter, and that's because the division, these individual notes of the beat, are eighth notes. And we compound those to make a beat note. So again, like we talked about in class, this six eight still means there is six eighth notes worth of stuff in a measure, but that there are not six beats. In compound time, the time signature still tells you how many things there are, but it doesn't mean that there are six beats because we don't feel it. We feel them in groups of three. Say that right now. In compound time, we feel the beat as groups of three notes. The beat is felt in groups of three. So we combine those three notes to make one beat. Here's six, four time. Six, four time has six quarter notes, but those quarter notes are grouped into groups of three. So three quarter notes makes a beat. The beat note is a dotted half. And we keep going. Nine, sixteen, groups of three sixteenth notes. Nine, eight, groups of three eighth notes. How many groups? Three, three groups. You need three groups of three to make nine. Okay, let's go to the, the chart here. They give us a similar table to fill in, and we're going to do that back in iPad land. Here we are in iPad land, and I've got a similar table. I'm just going to throw it right up here, top numbers. In compound time. Just memorize this. Top numbers in compound time are 6, 9, and 12. For duple, triple, and quadruple. Okay, Just memorize that. We memorized them for simple time, and it was simple to do, because in simple time, duple means 2, triple means 3, quadruple means 4, just like out in the real world. But for compound time, we need, again, we're combining notes to make beats. So in compound time, the top number is 6, 9, or 12. All righty. What they tell us here is that the first one we're going to work with is called, is a compound duple. Well, you already know stuff. 
Compound duple means the top number is, I look over here, top number is a six. Again, and I'm just gonna say it over and over again, I've been teaching this for a long time. <laughs> I know to say this over and over again. It's six, not because there are six beats, but because there are two groups of three things, okay? Duple means two groups of stuff in compound time. The other piece of information they give us for this one is a dotted quarter. Now that's representing a beat note. The beat note is a dotted quarter. How many beats are there in duple meter? Two. So there are two dotted quarters worth of stuff, but the division of the beat is where all the action is. The division of the beat is taking that dotted quarter and splitting it into three equal parts. So go to the next smaller note value and write three of them. Just like we were talking about in simple time, these equal each other. There are three eighth notes in a dotted quarter. There are three divisions of the beat in one beat um, in compound time. Now here's another difference between simple and compound. Pay attention. In compound time, the division of the beat gives you the bottom number. Say that. In compound time, the division of the beat gives you the bottom number. I'm going to say it one more time. The compound, in compound time, division of the beat gives you the bottom number. The bottom number here is the division of the beat. What's the division of the beat? Eight. So this is six, eight time. All right. Duple in compound time gives us six for a top number. Eight comes from the division of the beat. Six, eight time. If you need to go back and watch the first two minutes of this video again, do it. Or hang out because we're going to do some more. Here we go. The next one, the only thing they give us is the time signature. 9-4. Okay, top number 9. What does that mean? Well, it means it's got to be compound and it's got to be triple. That's what that means. You can see it right there. 9 means compound triple. That is a fact. I can say the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. That's just a fact. It, there's no concept that you have to understand to memorize that fact. So memorize these facts. Top number six, compound triple. Duple. <laughs> top number's nine, compound triple. There we go. So the top number's nine. Top number's nine means compound triple. All right. Now, where does the bottom number come from, gang? The bottom number comes from the division of the beat. This is different from simple time. In simple time, the bottom number is the beat. In compound nine time, the bottom number is the division of the beat. So I'm going to write three quarter notes here in division. That's what that four is telling us. The division of the beat is three quarter notes. And then we make our beat note by combining those three quarter notes. So just go to the next higher note value, larger note value, which is a half note, and put a dot on it. That's what you do. Again, the division and the beat note equal each other. Dotted half equals three quarters. The next one they give us they tell us the top number is a six. You're already thinking, what does that mean? And they tell us the beat note is a dotted half. You're already thinking about that. What does that mean? Okay, so what does that top number six mean? Compound duple. It's a fact. And then what kind of division do we get from a dotted half? Compound time, always three things. 
always one notch down the rhythmic hierarchy. So dotted half turns into three quarter notes. And turns out the bottom number is the same. The division of the beat gives us the bottom number, four. Next one, they tell us it's compound quadruple. There's a U in there, just trust me. Compound quadruple. And they tell us that the division is 3 16th notes. Again, I'm getting these from the self-test exercises in the workbook or in the textbook. These are not your workbook assignments, those are different. Same process, different information. All right. Well, 3 16th notes means the beat note, combine those 3 16th notes to make a dotted eighth. Again, every dotted note contains three of the next smaller note value. And now for the key signature, or for the time signature, compound quadruple means the top number is a 12. And it always will be. The bottom number comes from the division of the beat in compound time. So it's 12, 16 time. Last one, they give us a top number of a 9. And then they give us a division of the beat as 3 eighth notes. That's enough information to figure it out. Let's do the beat first. I combine those 3 eighth notes to create a dotted quarter. I have a 9 on top. That means what is nine as a top number? It means compound triple. And I get the bottom number from the division. Division of the beat are eighth notes. So I'm going to write an eight there. There we go. Let's play around a little bit. Let's let's take that 9-8. Let's just look at what some rhythms in 9-8 time would look like and sound like. All right, 9-8 time. How many beats? Well, if you're memorizing your top numbers, you know that 9 means compound triple. Duple, triple, quadruple are the words, the terms that refer to the number of beats in a measure. So 9-8 time has three beats. We will feel three pulses in a measure of 9-8 time. And each one of those pulses will contain three eighth notes. Now notice the way I'm writing this. We come back to this again next week. But we may as well get into it right now because it's coming. We want our beats to be clearly seen. Always. Make the beats easily seen. And how am I doing that? Well, I'm doing it through my choice of beaming. Notice that I'm beaming each beat individually. Now we can count this by counting to nine. That's cool. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You feel the emphasis on each? One is a two is a three is a, I kind of like one is a two is a three is a because I keep track of which beat I'm on. Beat one, beat two, beat three. Again, there are not nine beats. There are three beats with each beat containing three eighth notes. The other things that happen in compound time very frequently is you get two of the subdivisions in one note and then another one by itself. So I'll do this. 
for three beats. See that? Now back to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So the rhythm here is da 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 da. If I want to, I can have whole beats. Let's show whole beats, dotted quarters, just like the beat note down in the table we made. So again, back to counting from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I use the the number counting, the beat counting, I could say one is a two is a three is a one is a two is a three is a one is a two is a three is a cool. So there you go. Again, um, touching on a very important topic to come, we always want to clearly see the beats. Whenever you're making beaming choices, choose to separate the beams between beat notes. This is for both simple and compound time. All right. Thanks, gang. Enjoy.